Hey guys, it's your girl Shay J back with another video and today you guys are gonna want to hear this one. It's a review of the Fenty perfume. I think it's called Bridgerton. So I know you guys are in for a treat. I have a lot to say about this perfume so please stay tuned. If you are new, thank you um, for watching. Um, if you are returning, thank you again for coming back because you could be with anybody else and you decided to come watch my videos. So I appreciate all the love and support. So without further ado, um, I um, did one of the uh, things for Rihanna. She had like a, if you spend $40, she'll get a free sample. So I, did that, I decided to do that because I found out that her perfume was gonna cost $120. Not that I have a problem with paying $120, it's the problem was I did not know what this, this scent smelled like. And if you stay tuned, you'll be glad that I didn't spend the $120. So the package came yesterday. I decided to open up because I was super excited to smell it. And it came in a package like this. It basically has Fenty Skin on the inside of the box. She always has like really good packaging and everything. Also, it came with um, a Fenty, just basically a promotion about her um, perfume. It's just a little card that says her Fenty perfume. I ordered um, her travel size for her skincare. I've been using that a lot. And since I've been doing a lot of traveling, it's just best that I get this size. So I just ordered another one because I'm running low on my other one. So here's what the sample looks like. It basically comes in the blue packaging. Her So if you have shopped a lot of Fenty products, you know that she used the blue packaging. So I've had a lot of her sneakers and like some of her clothing items and it came with the same blue packaging. But basically it's a Ouda perfume and it basically says Fenty. So when you open it up and it basically, this is a 0 0.06 floor down sample and it just has on the, the ingredients. Okay. So when you open it up, so I sprayed it yesterday just to smell it, um, just to see what it smelled like. But basically this is what it looks like. This is a unisex fragrance. And um, what's um, the scent is basically Mongolia, geranium, uh, coconut, bergamot, patchouli, incense, uh, botanical, botanium rose, I think. Um, Musk, vanilla, tangerine, blueberry. So it has quite a few things in it. So I'm gonna spray it again. I did spray it yesterday. It lasted for about, I would say this scent probably lasts about five hours, um, give or take. But I'm gonna spray it again. So let's get into the fragrance. So when you first spray it, it Here's what I'll say about it. When you first spray it, it's very strong. It's definitely more masculine to me, or first scent. Um, it's not very fruity. To me, this is very like a muscular scent to it. Um, like when you first smell it, uh, to me, it smells like, like something out of a medicine cabinet. I'm just gonna say it. It smells like, like, like medicinal to me or first smell um, when you first spray it. Um, to me, this fragrance is very mature. This is not a youthful scent. This is definitely for someone that's like a mature lady or man. Um, it's definitely giving me like the Middle Eastern like fragrances. Because a lot of the Middle Eastern fragrances are like that. They have different, like their fragrances are very strong. And this what it reminds me of. It's definitely like if you heard like some of the rumors that Rihanna, um, she, her smell, her go-to scent or whatever is uh, killing in love. Don't be shy. This is definitely not like that. This is more to me a fall fragrance and it's very like a midnight 
not to say that you can wear it during the day, but it, to me, it's very strong. Um, it's not um, like if I had a lineup of fragrances, this would not be the first thing I go to. Put it like that. Um, it's not a bad fragrance, but it's I've had other fragrances that smells a lot better. Not to say that this isn't a good fragrance, but it's just not something I would necessarily go to on first hand. Um, but I do think that this fragrance, um, you could possibly layer with another fragrance. I think that might be a good thing, but would I just go to this like off the rip? No. Um, I'm also smelling like some of the vanilla notes in it. I know some people say like you could smell like the fruity scents, like the uh, blueberry and chandelier. I'm not getting that. I get more of the musk and vanilla and maybe like a floral. But to me, on my skin, um, this is not something I would necessarily go to. Like Rihanna, you disappointed me on this drop. I still love all your stuff, but would I pay $120 on this fragrance? I don't think so. If she was to come out with like a rollerball or a sample size or something like that, I might consider that but would I just necessarily spend $120 on this I'm afraid I'm gonna have to say no it's not one of my favorite scents it's not a, um, one of my least favorite either I would say it's more so in the middle do I think it's worth $120 um it's up for debate like she gives you a, a decent amount in her full-size bottle but that's if you really like the perfume for those that's just on the fence about it, I wouldn't buy it. Um, I would see if she came out with different sizes than maybe considering purchasing. So I'm glad that I took advantage of her sample size because I will be highly disappointed if I purchased this for the $120. Now, if she was to come out with another fragrance, I would give it a try as well because I'm all for trying different fragrances, but this, I will have in my collection, but it's not something that I would necessarily go to f for uh, first hand compared to some of my other fragrances that I really like. And for um, like a basis, I like more like fruity fragrances uh, cl or clean fragrances. So that's what I like. This is more to me, more masculine. It's more like one of your stronger scents and to me it can give you like if you spray too much i think it could give you like a headache so i would just be very careful on how much you spray of it and i wouldn't necessarily wear it during the day that's just me personally um now as it dries down i think the scent you know kind of calms down but to me it's just giving me very medicinal like very like I don't know how to describe it like that. It, to me, it smells like Vicks or something like that. Something like like cold medicine or something. I don't know. It could just be in my nose, but that's what it's giving me, the type of vibes. It's giving me like Vicks. It's not a bad, you know, scent, but it just gave me a lot to be desired. I really so bad want to love this fragrance, but it's just not giving me what it needs to give me. I don't know you guys let me know in the comments like what do you guys think do you like it uh, would you try it out do you think $120 is too much y'all let me know um, and thank you for watching um, I will be coming out with some more videos and stuff like that so stay tuned and thank you for watching